Hi, this is Linda with LLB Vintage and Pretties. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while. Uh, I decided that an ear infection would be a fun thing to do. Not. Anyway, so I have some new acquisitions for you. And let's go ahead and start with this little heart box. Trinket box. So it is a Lennox. And you can see that it has the heart of the roses on it and that they are raised let's see if I can get you a good picture that they're raised and gold around it around the top and the same thing with the outside it's got the raised roses or and the gold around the bottom and this is a Lennox product and it's made of porcelain this little vase is a cute little vase it is transfer wear it's kind of an off white it's got the two handles on it and this was given to mom in 1943 for Christmas I don't know if you can see that Anyway, 1943, that was given to Mom for Christmas. And he doesn't have anything on the back. And he's got beautiful ridges around the bottom. These are chartreuse bud vases. They are art glass. They do have browns running through them. The two of them are not the same as far as the decorations go, the brown inside them, because it would be kind of hard to do. So this is a this is an art glass. It's blown. It's got beautiful uh, standard off pontels on it. These are Mexican coffee mugs, beautifully painted, and they have the blue dots on them, as you can see. They are raised. And they have blue handles. And they were made in Mexico. And there are two of them. I have a Fenton pink hobnail vase with white overlay. So you can see the hobnails on this, they do stick out, and white underlay on the inside. Very pretty piece. No markings on the bottom, but it is a Fenton piece. And it does have kind of a handkerchief top to it. The next one is this blue and white Chinese cat. Chinese colors, blue and white. Very pretty with fruit on him. His tail's got flowers and butterflies. More flowers, more flowers, flowers on his head, and a butterfly on his head. Look at those cute whiskers he's got, along with the adorable eyebrows. And he was made in Japan, and there's his markings. Kind of hard to see on camera. I think I'm into Chinese today. This is a double gourd porcelain vase. It's blue and white. It's got the little man on here on the lake. It's got a tree down here. Catfish. Another man on the lake. 
a little man on a horse. And this was also made in China. I couldn't decipher that for you if I tried. This one is a Lennox Swan. Isn't she beautiful? With such a graceful neck. It is a Lennox piece. It was made in the United States. And I believe that I told you before that the Lennox uh, Manufacturing Company here in the United States shut down mid-year, I'd say about maybe March, uh, due to COVID. So they shut it down and it will not reopen ever again. So that's what it says on Lennox. Uh, beautiful piece. One issue here is it does have a broken feather there. It's very hard to see. I did put a little clear nail polish on it so it's not quite so sharp. But that's the only one boo-boo that she has. The next I have for you is a 1970s Anchor Hawking textured glass piggy bank. It's a large. I do have a small one as well to go with him, but he's a different color. You can see his little tail. Cute little guy. Maybe it makes your kids want to save their money. This would have never worked for my daughter, but maybe yours. The next piece that I have is a, I couldn't pronounce it if you paid me a million. Kaisu, K-Y-U-S-U, style teapot. And the little man looks kind of angry with, he's got red and gold around him writings on it. This is the handle to the teapot. So when you pour it, you hold on to the handle and pour like this. It does have what to me looks like wasps on it. And there's the lid. It's very pretty. And this one has a teeny tiny Actually, maybe two little flea bites on around the rim of this. But still in beautiful shape. And it's got the strainer in it. You may not be able to see it. But it has a strainer right here. So it strains your tea leaves for you. Pretty piece. The next thing that I have are these beautiful, beautiful hand-painted Christmas ornaments that you hang on the tree. And they were made for Dillard. Now, on my eBay site, you'll be able to get a better view of these. Two, or, or, blah, blah, blah. these two bulbs I'm going to show you. So this is one, and it has a beautiful... Uh, a house or church on it. Beautiful hand painting. And then here is the other one. This one has a bird on it. A little brown and white bird with sparkles on them. Very pretty. And again, like I said, you'll get a, a better view of them on my eBay site. And these were made for Dillard, and they are from Italy. And that's all I have for you today. Sorry I haven't been here in a little bit, but I shall talk to you later. This is Linda with LLB Vintage and Pretties. We are in Mesa, Arizona, 
at 4026 East Main Street, Suite Number 2. We are having an open house on November 14th. Again, LB Vintage and Pretties, where chips and cracks are free. Have a day.